Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and he's Rope Rihjärvi, aka Rope Barn Lake. And we are now at Rope's Barn Lake studio here in Helsinki, Finland. And topic of this video is 80s rack gear, couple of really cool tube amplifiers and larger than life guitar sounds and persons. <laughs> That's good. Yes, it's yeah. it's sounds. I mean, we're monitoring uh, with two great focal monitors here, and, and it's you know it's it's awesome. But yeah, anyway, to the point. So uh, I'm on vacation now, but uh, obviously I wanted to see my my old friend. We go we go way back. I was like 13 years old when we met. I was a little yeah. guy who came to yeah. the music shop at the Hamed, and it's a really small yeah. town and in, in Finland and I just started playing and I came to ask a signing from you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I still yeah. have it. Oh, yeah. oh. And uh, did I g give you guitar lessons? No. No. no okay, but, that's why but, probably why you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but but I remember I was 13 years old. I played ice hockey and I just started playing guitar. Yeah, I, I actually played ice hockey and I started playing guitar when I was 13. Yeah, we have the same history. Yes, yes. I started a bit early. I started tattooed here, 89. I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, Ro Rope is a, you know, he's a Finnish, uh -huh, obviously, the session musician, guitar player, and he has his uh, own, own band or plays in uh, Brother Fire Drive. He, he replaced. Uh, you replaced Empu. Yes. 2019. Empu. 2000, yeah, 19. Empu is known for being Nightwish guitar player and uh, Fire Tribe was, you were basically always, it depended Empu's schedule and uh, then uh, they uh, wanted to do, I guess, more yeah. consistently albums and tours and you've been playing now with it's five years. Five years now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. And you still do sessions? Yeah, I, I still do yeah. sessions and yeah. play like a background musician. Yeah, because when we were setting this up, Rope got a few calls that, hey, will you be able to do a show tomorrow because we have a situation? But it's good because Rope is a fantastic player and also, you know, a nice guy. That's actually also really important because nobody wants to work with assholes, no matter how good you are playing your instrument. But yeah, so uh, you have a Fantastic setup, a little bit similar than what I have, but you have way more of the 80s rack gear, which we're gonna discuss now. So, why don't you explain the the signal chain and the amps? Because this is this is like a this is space station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this crazy project started like a two years ago when I have a, all this gear. And I wanted to do a, a one complete rig where everything is, is like a, you don't have to patch anything yeah. in. And everything is, ah, I want to use that amp, I want to use that pedal, I want that effect. And I started to putting it together and finding all the pieces I needed. So everything here is under a little switcher. Kind of like what I have, yeah, similar, yeah, similar. Yeah. But your your stuff is yeah. rig is more advanced. I wanted to do a rig that. <laughs> you wanted to do a rig to capture <laughs> this the, guy. Yeah, yeah, and it's, 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 it's it's amazing because you know yeah, yeah. still look at her. Yeah, he's my hero. Yeah, but uh, I wanted to do a rig where's everything that guitar player would need and. A lot of more stuff, <laughs> as you can see. I'm, I'm, uh, like in this, more is always yeah, more. Yeah. So let's start at the signal chain. The cable goes from guitar here. It's a Rockstrom attachment loop 8. But it's just going in there so I can choose do I want to use buffer or not. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the pickups and, and the chain what, what I normally use. Then the signal doesn't hit the rock drum yet. It goes up there, the pedal drawer, where I have a Voodoo Lab hex 
six loopers, which mm -hmm. I guess it's exists. Yeah. And there I have a bunch of overdrive pedals and one analog delay before the preamp, so I can do the 81 Halen mm. stuff. So it's yeah. like, and then we go there to the Rocktron patch made loop. And loop number one, I have Mesa Boogie formula preamp. It's I use it for uh, mainly a clean tones. Yeah, it's just like an 80s, mm -hmm. 80s style clean tone. Uh, loop two is now empty. There's a Soldana preamp coming soon. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, the purple one. Uh, the purple one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Started with the uh, X X88. Oh. I hope it's. Is it old or? It's the it's the the reissue. Yeah, the reissue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then then we hit the loop number three, which goes up there to my amp switcher. Mm hmm. There's slot only for four amps and I have six head heads there so now we have plugged in the the top one um, that's the JTM45 style amp which you made yeah and and our good friend Tommy the electric technician uh -huh. oh, yeah. helped me to do the most underneath that we have a Marshall 74 JMP50 it's a Tommy Falkison mod so the Swedish guy? Yeah, Swedish guy. Made for amps like a Key Marcello, John Norum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also Peter Hus, from who I used to yeah. play with Shining, he yeah. had a two or three, I think, Falkinson yeah. Marshalls. Yeah. And the logo was a was a cracked and then I put the pieces together and it says Arska now, it's a Finnish name. So <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yes. And that that the guy is really amp is really because it, it has a lot of power underneath that we have a JMP 50 it's a it's an old Marshall from 72 or 75 I don't remember the exit mm -hmm. but and it's stuck it's, right. it's stuck there is a, a FX loop behind it so but there is a switch where I can turn it on or yeah. off so then it's that's done afterwards right yeah because yeah. those didn't have yeah back then the FX loop. yeah then we have a soul dyno SLO 100, which is the, I think, the best amplifier in the game at the moment. I used it constantly. What? You mean it's better than Marshall? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but but it, it's it's so versatile. It's it has a lot. Yeah, it really good. High, high gain, high gain stuff, clean stuff. Yeah, the, the cleans are really good. Too, yeah, but which uh, usually high gain amps, like the the 5150, which is. Pretty much based on a SLO, except yeah. they they didn't manage to make the clean channel very usable. Yeah. But you know, I have two fifty one fifties and I don't use them for yeah. cleans. Underneath that we have a Friedman Run fifty. It's a it's a Marshall mm -hmm. hot rodded Marshall with a Fender clean channel. It's like my I use that live when I use amp. So it's fifty watt. I can turn it loud mm -hmm. and doesn't have many buttons to That's make your, make your sound. I, I'm, I'm a simple guy, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> so, but in, in a live situation, yeah, yeah. yeah. In studio, I, li I like to mess with, with all, all gear. And then I have uh, overtone special by Theriotone. It's it's like a Dumble overdrive special, but it's it's also 50 watts. Yeah, great dance. Great, and then the 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 you know yeah then the guy the, who just says that he's simple and likes a few buttons <laughs> yeah so then, then we after amps we yeah we there's amp switcher mm -hmm. which select which has head we are using yeah. and then we are coming back to this rack uh, the batsmith again mm -hmm. look for we have a smart get from MXR uh huh. And something else there, line yeah. six, something. Yeah. yeah. Then we loop five is the line driver booster if I want to turn just volume up. Mm -hmm. It's just just for mm -hmm. volume stuff. Then we have a loop six and seven are this DPX compressor, which is, I think, the best guitar compressor mm -hmm. ever made. This side is handling the clean sounds, mm -hmm. the 80s style, and this is more more like a softer okay. yeah. compression. 
and it's after the preamps and all the gain effects so it's it doesn't affect the gain at all yeah. so so it's like a this whole system is like a studio style it kind of what you would do when you're mixing yeah you put the so you put the compressors time based yeah. effects after and this is like yeah. that's how yeah. you i mean certain situations compressor before works uh if you want to have the kind of chicken picking stuff and sometimes with cleans but i i i i don't use compressor live but when i'm mixing especially on guitar leagues yeah. i like to put it after everything mm -hmm. so it just you know makes the level and depending the compressor it affects also the yeah. kind of sound so you can use it as yeah. a tone device to to get whatever yeah. grit or the smoothening whatever you want cool yeah. And after that, the fun parts begins. Yes. I just got it back, back this device today. It's Red 7 multi stereo line mixer. And this device has like a three in one system. So it, it, it's a switcher mm -hmm. for amp channels. And you can switch your amp channels. Mm -hmm. Then it's a looper and mixer at the same time. So normally when the 80, 80s guys have this huge racks. Mm -hmm. They had a looper which opened the signal for for a effect processor. Yeah, and then the signal goes from processor to the line mixer, which which can kind of blend it together. So it's this whole system. All these effects down here are pal parallel. Yeah, it's always yeah. It's, yeah. it's like a it's like a you can think it as a, like a auxes and in the door. Yeah, yeah. so. So there is a dry signal always, always, and then then you blend some effects, and all these effects are the mix are at one hundred. So, so yeah, so you just can, get the yeah, 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 yeah. We can keep some samples what yeah. what, what we mean, but there I have a even tight eclipse. I mainly use it for a micro bits, mm -hmm. of course, of course. It's like a like benchmark for a, for a detune sound yeah i i have that on my mixing template uh, plug-in but it's always set to the micro pitch yeah and yeah. you know whatever when i need a micro pitch yeah with guitars sometimes yeah. with vocals backing vocals it's it's a fantastic preset fun device because it has like a two h 3000s in one so mm. so you can have two even that parallel uh -huh. and you can put it on a series or pa parallel and then we have a spx here i use for my <laughs> detune as well though <laughs> yeah that pitch change c and the symphonic presets i think those are the only yeah. presets i've ever used on yeah. my spx yeah. 90 yeah. On, on, on my mixes i swapping every time I'm not gonna use the even tide. Even tide is more like a high five, mm -hmm. high five sound. Sound and SPX, it's more like a, cause it's eight bit, so it's it's more like a like a dirtier sounding yeah. tune. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. It's, it's, it's sound, great. Sounds good. And then we have a D2 from TC Electronic, mm -hmm. and I use the 2290 preset. There. Yeah, I slightly modified it, and I use there the Spatial. Sure. Yes, but yeah, yeah. Mode, so it's uh, what it does. It's like a turn the face from another left oh. or right channel, so it's widening. Yeah, the delay sound. So mainly, I have a two delays going. Same time, I use the PCM seventy. It's a circular delay mode. Surprising. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and twenty two ninety. I blend it together. It's oh. so I have a like a circular delay, which is like a doing. Yeah, doing it. The thing and and the twenty two ninety is it's more tempo oriented so yeah so yeah and and they are not the in a st stereo spectrum they are not the, on the same space so so the twenty two ninety is more on the sides ah. and circular delay is more on the center. Ah, so, I I might need to do that because surprisingly I have a piece in seventy two yeah, but I've yeah, never yeah. done that I always use them separately. Yeah, and it, it creates like a feeling that you have a really good sound of reverb there also so, yeah but it's it yeah. doesn't mess in your sound yeah it, it, it's great i i generally don't care that much of reverbs i usually do the reverbs with delays and then many times if i use reverb i'm sending the delays to the reverb so the delay repeats gets the reverb so it smoothens them yeah. them out obviously 
that's not always the case. Sometimes good room reverb is just what you need. But especially in a live situation, I, yeah. I don't think I've ever yeah. used the reverb. I've only yeah. also only done those kind of creating spaces with with uh, with delays. Yeah. Delays. And then we have the PSM ninety one, mm -hmm. which is a, just a reverb. Yeah, the great reverb sound. And then uh, I have that too. What you have there? Uh, it's not plugged in. It's uh -huh. just for, for. It looks good. Yeah, yeah. It's a, but it's actually it's a good device. It, and then we have a MIDI solutions. Like it's it's just splitting the MIDI signal because we have a lot of MIDI devices here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not chaining the devices. It's every ah, every, every devices get the ah, yeah, own yeah. own MIDI yeah. signal from there. And then then there is a like a patch bay mm -hmm. where it powers the pedal. Yeah, send the MIDI, and, and those are not used at the moment so it's not finished yet <laughs> <laughs> of course and then you control it all with the with the fractal fractal okay yeah. now where we have talked so much g give us some sounds first the dry sound whatever amp you want and then you know well yeah you, you can show how they sound and maybe explain what is going on all right then uh some sound samples. So first the dry amp and, and the we, amp is... Uh, we're using the JMP50. Right. And the, here's the dry sound. <laughs> uh, is it just is nothing it, on? Nothing on. Cool. It's just the amp. Plexi, old Plexi, yeah. it's great. So that was the basic... Yeah, and, and then, then, I, then I can choose the, if I want to put the overdrive before the amp. So here is like a two screamer. It tightens, it tightens up a little yeah. bit. And another type of a boost distortion. Yeah, that's a little bit yeah. grit. Yeah. And then we have a... Eventide? Eventide. It's there, I guess. Yeah, and classic if, micro pitch. Yeah, and if you if we want to compare what the SPX 90 is doing, mm -hmm. it's like a <laughs> There's a small difference, yeah. Yeah. but Nothing yeah, much, yeah. you know, like you said, yeah. it's the even tide is it sounds a bit more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the fun things is that we can have the boat on at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And if we want to build from there, then we can at the reverb mm -hmm. you want. That was the PCM91. PCM91. Uh huh. Because it, it's parallel. Yeah, so you it, get it, the. It, that, that, that's. Yeah. Now the reverb actually sounds good. The, the, usually the problem I have with the reverbs, that everything just kind of goes muddy. mushy and muddy and yeah. stuff. But now when it's parallel, it's actually almost like a. Smaller kind of spatial delay yeah. stuff because yeah. you still hear the dry sound. Yeah. Nice. And then we can, if if we <laughs> stay what we have, and then we add the circular delay. Ah. Ah, it sounds amazing. Instantly, Steve, look at Instant that. Instant look at there. Or, and I've actually used the circle relay 
and the pan delays. Those are the two presets I, I've used on many mixes from what I've done and productions recordings. No matter if it's rock or or metal, yeah. uh, the, the circular delay. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a yeah. great lead guitar delay, and yeah. it's when it's in the mix, it's kind of just gives a nice space because it, yeah. it's really sp spatial. I don't know what that's going on, but it sounds good. Great. Yeah. And if we have all this device, we have a four processors going on. The sound is still yeah, really because they are. Then we can have another delay. I, I take the PCM out mm -hmm. and put the twenty two ninety. Now you can now you can hear the phase shifting. It's like a really wide. So the guitar dry guitar is on, on a center yeah. and the delays are it's kinda of like wet dry wet. Then we can blend these two delays, so I have a 2290 on and PSM 70 and it sounds like this. <laughs> and we can boost it if we want. One thing I forgot to mention, I have a like a Doppler pedal uh -huh. over here. It's a TC Mimi Q. Uh huh. So it's 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 like a doing kind of like doubling double, doubling yeah, effect. Tricky, so yeah. it's it's now it's we have a tri signal, so you can hear the, what the doubling is doing. <laughs> Cool. And then some, someone might want to ask it, why? Because it's fun. Yeah. It's and fun. you can record the, am I right, that you can record the dry signal and the effects to yeah. a different yeah. track. Yeah. So, so you can actually... I can have the full dry. Yeah. It's like a mono. Yeah. And then I have a left dry, which is a full wet. Yeah. So there is no dry signal, but I can show you how it sounds like. When I took the dry off, mm -hmm. and you hear hear only time based effects. So now it's full wet. And I have to dry it. Yeah, so that is. We all can hear now what it does. And when you're recording, you can just monitor. With these effects, yeah, yeah, like what it sounds, and obviously, then yeah. you know, record them a different track, and then decide whether you're gonna yeah. use it in the mix or not, or not, or or uh, add them Later. in the mix like an aux aux yeah. track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. Because Rob is also a you know producer, mixing engineer, a lot of familiar stuff. What I have in my studio. Yeah, check some clean sounds. Please, yes. Yeah, the 80s. A the 80s clean yeah. sounds. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on.
So there was a lot of stuff going yeah. on. What 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 was the stuff? It's like uh, everything on. Every, everything. Yeah. Everything. So, so the secret for the clean sound is is I use the same effects that that we used mm -hmm. on the drive mm -hmm. sounds, but there then I have a I have a DPX compressor. Mm -hmm. It is great sounding compressor. Yeah. Is that now? That's after the after the preamp. After the preamp, yes. Yeah? And really ducking, yeah, ducking the signal. Yeah. And after the amps and after the load. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we forgot to mention. So we are using a uh, two note torpedo live, and yeah. uh, the you had a what did you what what cabinet and speakers there was. Uh, Wagner. Wagner with V30s? Yeah, V30s. Yeah. That's my go to cap every time. Okay, cool. And then we split the signal to half, and half of it is going to the cabinet simulation. Okay. Yeah. And half of it is direct. Pa is direct. So, ah. so the classiness of the sound comes from a DI signal. Yeah. But, but if you have put the guitar to the, like a, Interface, yeah, you know what the DI guitar sounds yeah. like a really chimey, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't have any bottom end, yeah. So the cabinet is doing the bottom mm. end, and the and the DI is the it's, yeah, it's the yeah. So it's like the now well, it's like the, the, the boogie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is the amp, and then that goes to the it doesn't go to a power amp or just straight to the torpedo. Uh, don't go the power, okay, amp. it's called the called it this line six. Ah. Which is doing my IRs and okay, okay. So torpedo is is it's just for load. Okay, it's just it's, for load. It's, okay, so yeah, so torpedo load line six IRs and now it's split, so half of it goes directly to the logic. Yeah, yeah, through the processing. Through, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. That's how. This is the way they did it in the eighties. I didn't do because I played hockey in the eighties. But you know, I born in the nineties, so, <laughs> so this is my like a time machine. <laughs> so I can. You, you were just a hunch yeah. in your father's balls. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And how? If if you take all the effects off, can we hear the the sound yeah. sound uh, then? Yeah. Let's keep the compressor. In. Yeah, compressor in so all the so time. Now, now it's now it's, and then if you pull them back one by one, and there's a slight chorus coming from from line six, so I, I took it off. Okay. So now it's right. Let's try. The bottom is boom. Yeah. Yeah. It's the gap. Yeah. Right. Then, then chorus, chorus, three chorus, mm -hmm. emulation. Uh -huh. I don't have the real one yet. <laughs> <laughs> then we add the uh, SPX ninety. That's the picture. Then we have uh, eventide, more mm -hmm. chorus. <laughs> Have a reverb. <laughs> then we have a delay, circle up. And the twenty two ninety. Then we can play. Then we have 
have heard the sound of echoing in the night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah? Africa. Yeah. That was total. So, to sum it up, two bumps, almost all original 80s rack gear, and then you control it, it, it all with the, the fractals uh, switcher. Yeah. And it sounds fantastic. <laughs> Hey, this was a quite long one, but at least very entertaining, in my opinion. Hopefully you enjoy this and like this and maybe learn something. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye.